Hi guys, I'm here today with Corey from Physio Health um, to have a chat with you regarding injuries. Um, any of you that train, well most of you, all of you, you should be training hard, um, are going to come up against injuries from time to time. It's an absolute part and parcel of um, any exercise regime. So I'm going to have a chat with Corey. Hi Corey, how are Hi, you? Hi, very well, thank you. Um, about injuries, injury prevention, injury management. Um, so My take opinion. it away Corey. So um, basically, what, what's an injury to start with? What's classified as an injury? Because a lot of people have pain as a normal thing at a low level following an exercise routine or a session that you've done. So if it's something that's um, lasting more than a couple of days, then that's an injury. Yeah. Um, and also if something's happened and you get a sudden pain while you're exercising, you know, that's an acute injury as well. So in those instances, you need to try and remove yourself from those activities that are making it sore. Yeah. Use um, ice packs on there to try and help settle down that inflammation that has been caused by overdoing things. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and that should help keep things under control and then reduce the amount of time that it takes to recover from the, uh, the injury. Yeah, and I'm often asked about, um, shall I go home and put ice on it or shall I heat it? Mm -hmm. So, No, definitely ice is the, the best thing to do because you want to try and limit those inflammatory processes yeah. which um, the cold is, is most effective at doing. Yeah. So um, certainly ice, particularly in that first 48 hours after the, uh, the, the pain has come on. Yeah, and it's rice as the rest ice compression and Elevation. elevate. Perfect, yeah. very good. Excellent, okay. And in terms of, I guess, um, lessening your chances of injuries, what are some of the things you can do in terms of like a good warm up, a good stretching routine? Yep, so uh, active warm up, so you're gradually increasing your uh, the speed of the exercises, getting the blood flowing, getting the soft tissues loosened up a bit. Yeah. Um, so uh, gradually increasing your intensity towards the, the, um, the pace of the uh, uh, exercise routine that you're doing yeah, um, is great. really important. That's probably the, the main thing in terms of um, reducing the chances of injury in, in a particular session. Yeah, yeah, that's good. I think what we'd like to do is actually go through um, in another video, guys. We'll go through a little um, warm up routine for you. Mm -hmm. um, it'd be ideal. And in terms of cooling down after your session, our sessions are pretty high intensity, and all the ones we do where I design for the the house as well are usually like this hit style interval training ballistic moves and everything, mm -hmm. what should we do to cool down other than lie flat on the ground, collapse after your session? Yeah, flaking out like that uh, not straight away is yeah. not the best <laughs> way, you tend to be more sore afterwards, so yeah. um, gradually reducing your intensity so you're not coming to, to a complete stop and yeah. so that helps to flush out some of those metabolites in the muscles that you've built up through the exercise and, uh, and some gentle stretches to help reduce some of the tightness that's inevitable as a result of exercising. Um, and uh, you know, trying to do some stretching, maybe some massage or something in the, in the time after that, which usually helps you recover and, and get ready for the next session. Good point regarding massage actually. How often, um, like I'm, um, I try and get massage a couple of times per month, mm -hmm. like a real deep sports and deep tissue massage. Yep. What, what do you reckon when people are training you know, three, four, five times a week, would you say? It's very uh, individual, so it depends on the areas that you're working the hardest, the ones that you tend to have um, trouble with the tightening um, and, you know, the type of exercises you're doing. So um, some people need it more regularly, so elite athletes are, you know, getting them once or twice a week. Yeah. Someone who's, you know, training it's regularly, <laughs> maybe, uh, maybe um, you know, once every couple of weeks, once a month, um, certainly no, no longer than that, I wouldn't think. Yeah, yeah, good, okay. Excellent. Um, all right, Corey, thanks very much for going through that with us and looking forward to lots more uh, videos with Physio Health. Pleasure, Corey. Thanks.